Hello, STPGA. This is Justin Engel, head pro at Shadowhawk Golf Club. We are excited to host the 2023 Joe Black Cup this year. I'm here with the captain, Mr. James Brown. Uh, James, how does it feel to be the captain of the Joe Black Cup this year? Justin, thank you, and thank you for hosting the matches. Um, it's truly an honor, to be honest. You know, it's, uh, it's one of those things that I've been fortunate enough to play in uh, several times, um, play in as, a, as the president, qualified for the team five times. So um, it, it was an honor to receive that call and, and to know that I'm going to be the captain and hopefully lead this team to a victory. So Justin, what are some of the most challenging holes here at Shadowhawk Golf Club? And then when it comes to the players competing mm -hmm. in a couple weeks, what are some of the holes and shots that those players really are going to need to be paying attention to? Yeah, um, you know, it, it starts off fairly easy with one and two. They're, they're welcoming holes into the, into the course, but um, three is a very difficult long par four. It requires two good shots to, to get on the green, followed by um, number four, which is a very long par three and, and plays pretty tough. Um, once you get past that, the middle of the golf course is, will be pretty manageable for all the guys competing in the tournament. Um, and then coming down the stretch, um, 16 is, is a sharp dog leg right with a really small green, and that second shot will be imperative, especially late in the match when, when things may be close. Um, you know, you, you, if you miss a green right, it's not an easy up and down, and, and the front bunker's um, no gimme for par either. Um, 17's a, a pretty pretty good par three, depending on where the pin is. It can it can play pretty difficult. And then, um, you know, if the match is all square or, or one down, 18 will be a, is a great uh, finishing hole. It's it's risk reward par five. Um, the second shot's all over water to a green that's basically surrounded by water on every side but the left side. So. You know, if you're down one or two, you're going to have to make a decision in that fairway whether you want to go for it or lay up. So it's um, it's a great finishing hole. There's a lot of risk reward there, and um, I'm excited to see the players have to make that decision coming down the stretch on Tuesday. Well, so you and I have been there in some uh, form or fashion. So yeah, I'm I'm just I'm right there with you. I'm, I can't wait to see uh, see how the players handle those finishing holes. Yeah, yeah. So have you uh, have you put any thought into pairings or or what you may do coming up for the tournament? You know, ironically, Justin, when I found out that um, I was going to be the captain, I started thinking about that and I started looking at the points list and and as you know, uh, being right there as you know one of the better players in our section. Putting, putting those players together, whether it's skill level, personality, uh, if they've played together before, what their record is like, et cetera, is kind of what I started doing. But right now, everything's in pencil. All right, Justin, so we've talked about the golf course, the players, you know, how we're going to manage some of the pairings and things like that. What, uh, what does it mean to Shadowhawk to host you know, a prestigious event, you know, one of the prestigious events for the Southern Texas here at at your home club? Um, for us, being able to do it, we don't do a lot of events like this. Um, our culinary team's looking forward to the opportunity to showcase what they're able to do. Um, I know Brad Seiler, our director of agronomy, is going to have the golf course really dialed in for the event, and he's excited to show off um, just, the, just the golf course in general. Um, I think a lot of people don't know where Shadowhawk is even at or have gotten the opportunity to play it, so hopefully the players will enjoy that part of it. And um, yeah, our, our golf staff is really looking forward to put it on a, a first-class event for the section, so we're excited to do it.